Hey guys, welcome to Rise of My Next YouTube channel. Hey, before I begin, these guys to like, subscribe, comment, follow, all that good stuff, you guys. Um, put a like next to my videos. It kind of gets uh, it kind of gets YouTube's attention for my videos too. So um, yeah, you guys. To, my name's Eric White, man. Left to the ones that know me, that's my government name. Um, you guys, uh, you guys. I'm for the ones that I got a lot of subscriptions through my Facebook. Just in the past week or so i appreciate that guys much love especially for my family members I've got a lot of family members that subscribe finally i was pretty shy about putting out my youtube channel it's kind of like uh i don't know like should i put it out people are gonna say i'm scrubbed people are gonna say it's cheap <clears throat> i thought about it you know and like i said in uh one of my comment posts i actually have my fair share of um, invites to other podcasts, you guys. Um, I've had a recent email uh, with uh, Peter Santanello's wife, as well as uh, Johnny from The Connect. You guys probably know Johnny from uh, YouTube. Everybody watches YouTube should already know who The Connect is. Anyways, I was invited down there to share my story. And uh, like I said, due to um, <clears throat> passport issues, you know, my, my criminal record kind of stopped me from getting that that far so it kind of just didn't make any sense for me to for them to say oh eric you can go to mexico but you can't go to the u.s so yeah you guys unfortunately due to that i wasn't able to go to make my appearances on these podcasts so you guys um i started my own i've had my own for the past few years now and i've been shy i've been i, I just didn't want to put it out there with my family you know because some of the issues that we speak about, I didn't want anyone to be all upset or anything like that at me because I know I made a big ruckus the last time that I went, uh, um, used media to express my opinions. A lot of people came back at me with negative backlash and the negative backlash, you guys, I'm not going to lie, didn't hurt my feelings, you guys. The negative backlash just made me boom. Like, I just wanted to do more videos and piss more people off. I just wanted to keep going and going and going. So you guys here again, this is my podcast, you know, um, I'm kind of multitasking today, you guys, um, check these bad babies out. Picked up a fresh batch for myself. So yeah, you guys, um, uh, I thought that I would, um, I thought that I would, uh, introduce my channel properly and let what I wanted to get out of it, Tay. Um, all I want basically out of my Facebook is uh, just for support from my reserve and my family members. Um, subscribe to my channel, you guys. I started this channel a couple of years ago. Check out this medallion. That's the real deal. Um, I started this channel with my daughter uh, shit, four years ago. And I've been working on it ever since. I've been thinking of the stories to tell, all the shit that we got going on on the res and all that. So what I wanted to do, you guys, is I got some good videos, especially I got this one coming up with me and my homeboy, Bishop. I haven't talked to Bishop in a while. Shout out to the broski. Um, he's doing big things, you guys. Check out um, check out his uh, – he's got a wicked barber shop going, you guys. He's got some badass fades going. Uh, Dorian's. Dorian's fades. We used to have fun, especially when we were hustling, you know. I'm not talking about, like, hustling's not entrepreneurial. It's straight up hustling. You know? we, we, we were straight up hustling boys and girls. Um, we, we was gambling, you guys. Every time I got a couple of dices, eh? And every time I, I keep those dices, I think about the time at Rick's house when we were fucking cheating, making 500 bet, Like, 500 bucks on the table, you guys. No, no bullshit, you know. Just fucking betting 50s, 20s, 100s, you know, just going to town, fucking playing 7s and 11s, uh, best out of two, snake highs. Fuck yeah, I'll never forget that time, you guys. So yeah, I have, I have, I have stories like that, you guys, and um, the significance of that story is the very first time that I that I tried, um, I guess you can call it OTC, over-the-counters. Eh? Uh, Sheree brought in some um i think they were oh 60s or oh 40s i think they were the red one oh 60s they were oh 60s uh they're the big fat red plastic chunky pills we loved you know and and because uh there's a lot of, of abuse of these uh medication that they made them into uh plastic 
and then you can we weren't able to uh some people would inhale it some people would um snort it some people would you know there's many ways to go about it so this fucking weird drug company created these plastic ones and they brought them over to the house and uh well no i mean they put them on the street and then eventually they because they're plastic it's all that was going around a couple made it to the house our homegirl Cherie came in and told uh homeboy if she can uh trade him uh, a couple of those for um i think a piece or something like that anyways homeboy went for it and then uh, you know guys forgive me forgive me uh, i lied here Okay, the plastic ones were around, but they weren't plastics because they were the uh, the colored ones. Because I remember the boys just have the colors on their pants, all on their leg. So that's how you know somebody's up to no good because they'll have the, their pants, they'll have the stain of purple, blue, ye uh, yellow, and the burgundy ones I'm talking about. So yeah, you guys, the burgundy ones, you, you guys are, um, the burgundy. Burgundy ones are the ones that Cherie brought because I, I remember their pill form because she crushed them, hey? Um, she crushed them and then uh, we did them. We snorted them right on Rick's table, you guys. And uh, we, uh, yeah, we're just doing our thing, you know? We're just gambling all night. Gambling all night, doing nothing, you know, just chopping, making sales, you know, having fun, you guys. Anyways, we did them on Rick's table, eh, and then end up, um, oh, man, we got fucked up, you guys. I'm not going to lie, because I was doing weekends that time. I just remember Norman walking in. Norman's my pops. He walked in. Whoever fucking gave him those, was the guy where wake up and tell me it was weekends. <laughs> so, Ken, I still remember Kendall. The homeboy Kendall was in the. Uh, the homeboy Kendall was the one that woke me up, told Norm, uh, I'll wake him up. And then he brought me to Lethbridge and uh, I bought a brand. And hey, Kendall didn't want to drink it. Kendall Red Crow. And I ended up uh, getting off on the getting off at the jail. I was very pissed. And the, I'm the reason why we got the fence now at the weekends, because I walked off to the river and just, you know, I wasn't sober up or whatever. But yeah, you guys, that that time, um, that was around when my uncle Leland passed away, you guys. And I got some videos on my uncle Leland that I want to put out there too. Eh? He used to really fuck with the boys, eh? And you know, Uncle Leland was good people, so I I, I truly feel like I got to do this video on for for him, anyways. And if I could, uh, if I can do that for you guys, I want you guys to watch it, subscribe, you know, tell your people about it, you know, like. In my videos, you might, I did not have family members in them. You guys might be in them, you know. I was looking through my, uh, I was looking through some old pictures last night. I found a picture of my sister Binky. Uh, real crazy picture. She's passing out on the couch, hey. And yeah, you know, RIP to her. She passed on, and um, I got the, I got some stories on her. Point is, like, I'm gonna do a story on my sister. It's gonna be a good video. I want you guys to like it, you guys. Also, I like to do reaction videos, you guys too. I like to do reaction videos on some of the shit we see on news. Like, I, like re recently it was the Olympics. I seen this fucking tranny fighting a, a girl, and fuck that was man. It just didn't look right, you guys. It looked like it looked like a man slapping his fucking wife, or a fucking husband slapping the wife, or uh, punching her around. It just didn't look right. So yeah, I got re reaction videos on that. I want to do a reaction video on that coming soon, you guys. I know more of my videos are saying that I'm coming out with this and that. They are truthfully, you guys. I am coming out with these videos because you know I noticed that um I checked out the algorithms and I was looking at my my um, hours. You know they're they're going up. They're past the one k. So I'm really happy about that, you guys. Um, keep supporting me the way you are. You know I like the motivation, you guys. They say a lot of us become successful because of the motivation that we get, you know, and I'm not going to lie, you guys, when I get somebody saying, are you Eric? Are you, are you doing this the channel? You know, that makes me feel really good. You guys makes me feel like, wow, you guys know me from my channel and that's fucking awesome. So you guys, that gives me a sense of like fucking awesome. Like 
awesomeness, you know, gives me a sense of awesomeness, you know. I get people asking about the chain, you know, like, hey, is that real? I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. I gotta show you guys this. You gotta check this out. Moses Lake for life. So yeah, you guys. Um, so yeah, you guys. This is my introduce, my introduction to my Facebook kind of too as well. You guys, I really appreciate the love that I've, you guys have been showing on Facebook. There's no drama a lot on my page, you guys. I got the club, you guys. It's called 420 Picks Reels and stuff. All right. Like me and my cousin Bob, we always talk about shit, you know. And just the other day, we was having a conversation about the time that we found Uncle Alroy. Uncle Alroy was at the uh, drinking at the tracks and he had a bottle on him, hey. Eh? And then somebody was, uh, or he was smoking secrets, and it was that time of the year. It's like the fire turns into a person and it like tries to keep you back from it, you know. It was like the like hand saying, you know, you're not grabbing him because he was just in arm's reach. Yeah. So you guys, that was real horrible. I know it kind of throws my vibe off on my videos of what I was just talking about, but I wanted to put a description of what we talk about on the podcast and stuff like that. So stories just like that. Um, so you guys, uh, if you guys stayed with me this long, 13 minutes, you know, 12 minutes, whatever, I'm going to do some editing. But um, if you guys stayed with me this long, I appreciate it. Much love. Tell your cousins, tell the familia, tell everybody that Eric's got a channel, you guys. Let's get this fucking channel off the ground, you guys. I appreciate where I'm at. I appreciate, I appreciate every little bit that you guys do, even when you guys like the pictures on Facebook, you know. Um, I'll be working on a threads too as well. I don't know what the fuck a thread is, but I'm going to find out what it is, and I'm going to fucking hook it up because every time I try to hook up my uh, Facebook to my Instagram, it's just a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to try to figure it out, guys. But then peace out till next time. I have some more stories. I'll, I'll go in depth on the other stories, my gambling stories. Peace out.